Well, as human, I have learned to listen for the voice of God. Yes. How do I know the difference between the voice of God and other voices? Because as you said, there are so many voices. Mm -hmm. And we also know that Satan sometimes disguises himself as an angel of light. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's read 1 Corinthians 14 and then the verse 10. Okay. So 1 Corinthians 14, 10. Yes. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world. Yes. And none of them is without signification. Good. None of them is without signification. Each voice, there are several voices, but each of them can be identified, you know. Um, and so when people ask me, how do I know this is God? Mm-hmm. My answer is simple. No God. How do I know this is the voice of Jimmy? Mm-hmm. No her. Mm-hmm. And you know, you know her voice. Mm-hmm. You, you, you will struggle to know the voice of somebody you don't know. And another person will come imitating the person's voice and you will think that that is the person. Right. But if you know, you know the original voice. And so... Let's make an effort in our work with the Lord to know him. And when we know him, if another comes to feign his voice, we know that this is not. Because you get that the animal will come, you know, feigning the voice of God. The voice of your flesh, the voice of the world, the voice of your friends, Mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And so uh, we need to know when, when the Lord is speaking. Like I said, fellowship, relationship, studying and meditating on his word, praying in the spirit. Fasting. These are basic exercises that, as we teach, especially those who are young in the faith and they mature, they'll easily discern the voice of God any day, any time.